Hello and welcome to my free CCNA Cisco Certified Network Associate course. So in our previous videos, we understood how does STP and RSTP work. In today's video, what we are going to do is we are going to apply that knowledge and solve a STP puzzle. Now a question like this will never come in your CCN exam. But nevertheless, uh, the application of knowledge about STP uh, of how the uh, root bridge is elected, uh, of how the uh, root ports are uh, elected, how the designated ports are elected, and what ports become the blocking ports in the STP topology will really help you in understanding STP in totality. So before we get into today's puzzle, what I would request you to do is to subscribe to my channel and press the like button on this video. So without any further wasting, let's get into today's topic and let's see what we have here. So let's look at what have we been provided. So we have given a topology where there are four switches and each of them are connected to each other using fast ethernet ports. Now there are certain facts that are given for each switch. So switch number one, the facts given is that VLAN one bridge ID is 32769 and uh, this is the MAC address of the bridge and fast ethernet port 2 and 4 have a cost of 8. Switch 2 facts are that fast ethernet 1 is 4 cost is 4 and fast ethernet 0 3 cost is 19. Uh, switch 3 facts are there is a root port on the switch that is fast ethernet 0 1 is a root port and all the other uh, ports have a default cost. Switch 4 has a fact that the bridge ID is 28763 colon the MAC address of the bridge that is the switch. And there are certain rules also for this puzzle. So the rules are we have been provided only partial information and we need to redefine the information whatever information that we can get like what is the root bridge, what are the root ports, designated ports and block ports etc. Unless stated, assume that the VLAN is 1 for the given topology. Uh, we have already been provided that it is VLAN 1 here and VLAN 1 here. So we'll assume that this is VLAN 1 for the whole topology. So do not assume that the switches are working on default configuration, meaning uh, work on the facts provided above. All other configuration is unknown and nothing is to be assumed to solve the puzzle. What it basically means is that uh, say switch one uh, so switch four, we are given that the uh, bridge ID is this, uh, but we are not given the uh, port cost. So we are not to assume any port cost. That is, we are not to assume that they are working on the default post cost. Uh, we are not to assume anything. And this puzzle is for STP scenario only and not for RSTP. So before proceeding any further, in case you want to solve this puzzle on your own, you can pause the video here and solve it. And if you have already solved this video, you can continue it now. Okay, so let's do one thing now and let's uh, just plot all the facts that are given on the puzzle on our chart as well. Okay, so all the facts I have charted out. Uh, this is the bridge ID given for switch one, three, two, seven, six, nine, double colon the MAC address, that is one, one, all ones. Uh, the bridge ID for switch four is two, eight, seven, six, three, and then the MAC IDs are all fours. Uh, the switch one has a cost of eight on fast ethernet two and on fast ethernet four. For switch two, the cost on fast ethernet one is four and the cost on fast ethernet zero three is 19. And for switch three, uh, the default cost is 19 for all the ports. So the cost will be 19 and the root port is fast ethernet zero one. So the first thing let's do is let's find out the root bridge here. Immediately off the bat, we know that switch three cannot be the root bridge. Why? Because it has a root port. And we know for one thing for sure that root bridges do not have root port. They only have a designated port. Second, we know that switch one cannot be the root bridge. Why? Uh, because it's bridge ID that is 32769 uh, is worse than the bridge ID on switch four. So it will lose the election to switch four. So we know for one thing that switch three and switch one are not our root bridges. So the only two options left are switch two and switch four. So let's look at what is provided. We know for one thing for certain that switch three's fast ethernet zero one is 
the root port so in case a switch 4 is the root bridge then the path for switch 3 will be from switch 3 will be to switch 1 with cost of 19 and then from switch 1 to switch 4 with a cost of 8 which will be total cost of 27 this could be one probable path if switch 4 is the uh, root bridge the other probable path could be that switch 3 reaches switch 1 uh, through this route and from switch 1 it goes to switch 2 and from switch 2 it goes to switch 4. In this case uh, the path cost will be in 19 plus 8 plus something at F04 cost. The other path could be that it could go through switch two from here and then here so in this case the path cost will be 19 plus something at f04 now we know one thing for certain that the root port is f01 so either this or this can be right uh, this is not right uh, for one thing for sure because this is not the uh, root port f02 is not the root port here also, we can see that fast Ethernet 04 will be having some cost. So this is definitely not the root path in case switch 4 is the root bridge. So this is the right path that switch 3 goes to switch 1 and then to switch 4. Now let's assume that switch 2 is the root bridge here. So what are the probable paths from the root port? So from the root port, we have a path going from here to switch one and then from switch one to switch two, uh, the cost will be 19 plus eight, 27. But if you look at all honesty, if a switch two would have been the root bridge, then this port that is fast ethernet zero two should have been the root port because the cost is only 19 to reach to switch two. And the other path, does not make sense so it's safe to assume here that the root bridge is actually switch 4 here and not switch 2 so we have found the root bridge for our topology so if switch 4 is the root bridge then it is immediately we can mark fast ethernet 02 as the designated port and fast ethernet 01 on switch 4 as the designated port also, since fast Ethernet 01 on switch 3 is a root port, uh, the fast Ethernet 03 on switch 1 is also going to be a designated port. So now let's find the uh, root port for switch 1. So switch 1 can have two root ports that is fast Ethernet 04 or fast Ethernet 02. So if it's fast Ethernet 04, then in that case, the cost to uh, switch 4 that is the root bridge of our topology will be very simple. It's going to be 8. It's a direct connection to switch 4. In case if it's fast Ethernet 0 2, uh, then switch 1 will go to switch 2. The cost will be 8 and then an extra cost of fast Ethernet 0 4 here. Uh, it's safe to assume that fast Ethernet 0 4 will be at least 1. So this will not be the uh, root port because the cost is high. So the cost on fast ethernet 04 is low that makes fast ethernet 04 our root port for switch number one now for switch number two let's find the root port so switch four can have a uh, three root ports uh, that is fast ethernet 04 fast ethernet 03 and fast ethernet 01 so if it's fast ethernet 04 uh, the cost will be whatever the cost is on fast ethernet 04 if it's fast ethernet 03 the cost will be uh, that is 19 uh, plus 19 going out from fast ethernet 01 or switch 3 and then uh, the cost of going from switch 1 to switch 4 that is going to be 8 so in total the cost is going to be 38 plus 8 46 now if it's going to be fast ethernet 01 in that case, the cost is going to be 4 plus 8. That is going to be 12. So uh, one thing is for certain that fast Ethernet 03 is not the root port here. So uh, this is not going to be the root port. That is for certain. 
but we cannot say for certain if it's going to be fast ethernet 04 or it's going to be fast ethernet 01 why because we do not know the cost at fast ethernet 04 and since we cannot tell what the root port is we cannot tell what the other designated ports are going to be on switch 2 and we cannot tell what are the other ports that is block ports on switch 2 so quint essentially with the information that we were provided that is all we can come out with all other information if we are to drive like uh, on switch 2 uh, if the segment connecting switch 1 and switch 2 if any port is going to be designated port or block port or any other thing what we basically need to do now is assume and one of the rules of this puzzle was not to assume anything so we need to stop short here and uh, this is all we can do so i hope that today's session on this practical puzzle helped you in understanding spanning tree protocol a bit more importantly uh, these are not the kind of questions that one will get in a ccn exam uh, but this is a very good exercise again to do uh, if you really want to understand what is stp how does it function what are the fundamentals of it and if you are given a practical example on a piece of paper how do you actually go about solving the uh, puzzle of finding what is what and what is not what i hope that you like today's video please do subscribe to my channel please do like the video and stay tuned for more on ccna and other topics until we meet the next time stay safe and goodbye